is something doing something that I wanted to do, but we're gonna do it the cheap way. Uh, I got my Dremel here, and I got some exhaust pieces from uh, O'Reilly's, and I also got some tips from Amazon. I got the burnt ones, so this is what I wanted. All right, we're gonna be replacing these like janky looking ones that it comes with. I'm just gonna do the muffler delete. Hopefully this is enough pieces. Uh, and yeah, hopefully the drum wall can cut through the metal. Okay, so this is what we have. Here's the hanger, right there. At least to that, and that giant box is the uh, muffler. And this is what we're gonna be making our cut. I don't know if you can see, right there. If you see, keep going that way. That's the resonator. I wanted to do that part, but every shop that I went to, charging like 200 bucks. So I'm gonna try it my way. Cool. I'm eating through this little disc from the Dremel like they're not even there but it's making progress um, definitely get long sleeves, gloves, eye protection, um, so yeah, because this thing shoots like a bunch of metal, like hot metal at you and that uh, burns the skin a little bit. What's it called, um, also get something better than the Dremel. It's the best advice I can give. Hello guys, so when I got, a uh, a better tool to uh, do the exhaust here. It's been about a week uh, since the last clip. Um, hopefully, this is so much easier to take uh, to cut because the other thing was like a pain in the ass. Okay, after four days, uh, about a few weeks actually, in between each day, three different tools, and this is the one that wins. If you're trying to cut an exhaust, especially from a BMW, because apparently it's the strongest metal on the earth, get your grinder. Take this handle off and get the biggest jack stands or a lift that you can find. Because I had to make some, some homemade ramps and I had to squeeze in there like, like you don't want to know. So, oh and cover yourself, I am covered in metal shavings uh, in my arms and my hair so wear long sleeves eye protection uh, hair protection and a grinder a grinder okay so here it is I eventually conquered um, note Important note, take off the back hanger that's located right here because it's a lot harder to take it off when this part is already dangling like this. You know, it has all the weight on that one. It's easier since you're closer to the back to do this one first and just wiggle this one out. The way I did it was with a small tire iron. You put it inside the the hanger, frozen. Inside the hanger, and you push down, and it gets the head off. Like it gets it in like the middle, and then you just keep moving it up and down the leg, and then you push, and that's how it comes out. I tried pliers, I tried a hammer, I tried beating on it, of course, because frustration. Um, but yeah, now I just need to put the replacement piece. Um, on there uh, and it's really nice. I don't have it here with me. I'm gonna get someone to weld it together because it's like three pieces Maybe it's like a coupler uh, a curve piece and then the tips that are a lot nicer than these like the 
don't know, 90s vehicle looking tips. So yeah, oh and they're bigger, so I might have to extend the, the hole that it comes with. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you that in the, should be the next clip. Okay, right now you're gonna hear about a rev to about 3000, that's just without the muffler, what I just did. Uh, without having put in the new tips and the segment that's going to go there. 